Now all new at six, veterans finally honored for their contributions decades after the end of the Vietnam War. Not all servicemen and women received a hero's welcome once they returned home. CBS 46's Bobetha Yates, she spoke with one veteran, among many, finally getting their recognition. For many Vietnam veterans, the welcome home after the war was difficult because opposition to the war made many of them feel unwelcomed. But now efforts are underway to make things right. It's been 48 years, well, actually 42, since I left there. And this is the first recognition I've ever gotten. Veteran Teddy Roser says there was no fanfare or welcome home service when he returned from Vietnam. It seemed like they let me down. I went and did what they told me to do without complaint. And I got treated dirty when I got back. And when Roser says dirty, he means it. I got spit on. I can't prove it, but I know I lost a few chances on jobs because I did go. Roser says the community took out their anger with the Vietnam War on veterans like him. But a partnership with the Georgia Department of Veterans Services and the VA is hoping to change that. We didn't do a great job of honoring them when they returned from war then. And so we wanted to make it right to welcome them home and thank them for their service to our country. The group will host a certificate and lapel pinning ceremony on March 31st. And it's open to all Vietnam era veterans. I returned from Afghanistan as a hero. And I can only imagine if I served my country and was not uh, granted back in this country as a hero, I can only imagine how I would have felt. And veterans, including Roser, say the honor is better late than never. War is a war no matter where you go. Even though they called it a police action, I never gave out one ticket. And I don't like thinking about the place. And those that came back and in a way still over there with their memories and their nightmares. They're the ones that should be recognized. We all deserved it. To sign up for the ceremony, you need to contact the VA's Volunteer Services Office. The deadline is March 17th. Fighting for our vets, Bobeth Yates, CBS 46 News. All right, thank you, Bobeth. And you can reach out to CBS 46 if you either know a veteran who needs help or if you know someone who we can fight on their behalf for. The email address is fightingforourvets at cbs46.com.